As you know, Elizabeth Maselli was Cromwell's town historian. But did you know that during the decades that she lived in Cromwell, she lived in a house bordered by the old burying ground? Because of this and her love for local history, she became its unofficial caretaker. One day in the early 1960s, several out-of-state descendants of Thomas Rainey visited the cemetery. When they realized that their ancestor's stone was missing, Elizabeth Maselli quickly took on the task of investigating its loss. She documented her detective work in a binder that she donated to the Cromwell Belden Public Library and that sits in the History Room's collection today. The paperwork it contains shows how diligently she worked for almost 25 years to find the stone and replace it. Her early work focused on confirming the date of death of Thomas Rainey. She and others submitted requests to the Cromwell Historical Society, the Cromwell Cemetery Association, the Town of Cromwell, and the Fox and Becker Granite Company for answers and assistance. Through these requests, she was able to determine that Gridley Adams, the son of Charles Collard Adams, the author of Middletown Upper Houses, a book that traces the ancestral history of Cromwell, had made the decision to move the boulder. The boulder was the one that Charles had photographed in his book of the old burying ground. And it's the same boulder that Thomas Rainey's headstone had been cemented to years before by Charles Collard Adams when he discovered the headstone broken. From the letters that Elizabeth typed and transposed, it's clear that Gridley was responsible for requesting permission be given to move the boulder along with that headstone. So he paid to move it, and he even had a bronze plaque placed on it once it was relocated to his mother and father's burial stones in East Cemetery. He then removed the Thomas Rainey headstone and placed it in the ground beside his parents. Further investigations to discover why Gridley Adams moved the large rock were fruitless. Over time, Elizabeth generated enough interest from descendants and enough money that she was able to have Thomas's original headstone copied and placed over the place where he was buried in 1713 in the old burying ground. The hard work was celebrated by a large and thankful gathering of rainy descendants at their annual, annual family reunion, which they held in Cromwell in 1988. Elizabeth was their honorary guest, and she documented the weekend-long celebration in an album, which we have in our collection. One interesting piece of information, if you were to go and visit Charles Adam and his wife Elizabeth in East Cemetery, you would still find the boulder and the plaque that Gridley created, but you would not find the original Thomas Rainey headstone. Where did the original one go? In 1986, the Hartford Current wrote a lovely article about Elizabeth Maselli's work in the old burying ground and her need to find a new caretaker for the cemetery. Elizabeth Maselli died on August 6, 1996, at the age of 97.